this is a fifth grade Singapore math problem. What's interesting about this problem is that it, it involves simultaneous equations where you have two equations with two variables and you solve for the variables. Problems like this are seen in US college algebra and high school texts. However, this problem comes from a Singapore, Singapore fifth grade math text. So we're going to solve this problem visually the way kids in Singapore solve the problem. Feel free to solve it, ideally visually, and see if you can uh, come up with a solution. If you cannot, feel free to see the rest of the video. Let's go ahead and read the question. Anne and Beth together have $57. Anne and Cindy together have $131. If Cindy has three times as much money as Beth, how much money does Anne have? That's the question. Go ahead, pause the video right now and solve the problem on your own. But the solution does follow. So if you need to look at the solution, feel free to do so. We need to understand a couple of things here. We know the total amount of Anne and Beth's money and we know the total amount of Anne and Cindy's money. So Anne belongs to both sums. Anne's amount is here. We don't know how much money Anne has. We're finding it out. And Anne's amount is here. And of course, they have to be the same number. We also know Cindy's amount is three times as large as Beth's amount. So we know a couple of things. We know Anne belongs to both sums and Cindy is three times as much as Beth. So let's go ahead and draw our pictures. This is what I have. The first one is $57, the first bar. The second bar is $131. Now this whole thing is 57 and this whole thing is 131. The blue amount represents Anne's amount and the blue amount here also represents Anne's amount and they're the same. And this pink chunk represents Cindy's amount and this pink chunk represents Beth's amount. I probably should have used two different colors but I don't think it matters too much. The question is this is the longer pink bar is three times the shorter pink bar. Okay, Having said that this picture allows me to find out the difference between Cindy's amount and Beth's amount. 131 minus 57 is, let's find it out, 131 minus 57 is $74. So this has to be $74. Okay, we also know one more thing. We know that Cindy's amount is three times Beth's amount, so if we draw bars like this, this is same as this, this is same as this, so this and this should be the additional part that Cindy has. If these two bars together amount to $74, you take 74 divided by 2 and you're going to get $37. So this is $37. This is $37. I'm going to write it separately so that we can add. This is also $37. Okay, this is also $37. Now, if the blue piece plus the pink piece over here add up to 57, this has to be 20. This has to be $20. My answer is 20 and it works out. Add 20 to 37 times 3, you're going to get 131. And everything given in my question is consistent with my picture. The pink bar is three times the smaller, the longer pink bar is three times the smaller pink bar. That's why Cindy has three times as much money as Beth. 
and the amount of money that Anne has is really the same in both cases and by subtracting Anne and Beth's amount from Anne and Cindy's amount I can find this difference which turns out to be 74 so my answer is $20